So Cece back with another video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Make sure you click that subscribe button down below before you leave. Everybody give this video a like thumbs up. And after you give this video a like thumbs up, make sure you are checking the little bell next to the subscribe button to make sure you are notified for all of my future videos because you never want to miss an upload. And YouTube been tripping lately. A lot of you guys have been saying I have not been popping up on your news feeds. So just make sure that you are being notified for all of my videos by checking that little bell. But now that we've gotten that out of the way, how y'all doing today? Today is going to be a very quick, I think it's going to be quick, video. This is going to be my three product obsessions right now. Three current favorites that I am totally head over the heels, over the moon, obsessed with. Now I did not get to talk to you guys about this last month in my monthly favorites because I skipped September favorites. I was just so busy. You guys know I went on vacation, all of that. So I didn't get a chance to do September favorites, but these three products right chill and then I got one extra I had to sneak another one in there so I really got four products for y'all but I'm gonna show y'all the three core ones and I'm gonna show y'all the extra one I'm just gonna throw it in there for y'all but anyway these three products right chill are everything and before I forget if you want to know how I achieve this look if you looking at it and you loving it and you're digging it there will either be a makeup tutorial already out or one coming very very soon right after this so definitely stay tuned for that when it is up I will link it in the description box but anyway this intro is already longer than I wanted so let's jump in to my three product obsessions all right, so the first product that I have for you guys is actually a lipstick. This is one of MAC's mini lipsticks, and it's in the shade Chili. I fell in love with this lipstick when I wore it on our, my husband and I's, vacation to Punta Cana. If you guys haven't seen those vlogs, go ahead and check them out. I will link the playlist right up here somewhere, and go ahead and check those videos out if you haven't. But I wore this like three nights on our vacation, and I've been obsessed with it ever since. It's not like a true red. It's like a what do you call this like a brick red maybe that is what it is and it's just so beautiful it has just that hint of deepness for fall and I just think it is the perfect perfect lipstick for fall the perfect red to wear around this time I absolutely love it I am obsessed with this lip color so this is definitely on my list of obsessions the next product that I have been obsessed with that I have not even gotten around to doing a tutorial for yet and I can't believe it is the Sephora Pro Palette. I got the warm palette but this I was so skeptical to get. I think I showed you guys, I think I hauled this during haul week and I was so skeptical to get this palette because I was like it's like 60 I think it was $64 or something crazy and I was like I can't believe I'm paying $64 for a Sephora palette but just look at it. Just, just look at it. It has the most beautiful shades you will ever see in a palette. And the pigmentation is honestly like, it's on some crazy type stuff. Like, the pigmentation is just there. It's super beautiful. These are like pressed pigments, the shimmers at least. They're like pressed pigments. And the mattes are really good as well. I don't find the palette to be inconsistent at all. I find this to just be an amazing palette. So if you were interested in these, I don't know if these were limited edition or not, um, but if you were interested in them, I would definitely go ahead and pick up the one you were interested in. They had a warm, they had a cool, and I believe they had like a metals or something like that. Um, something like that, but of course warm shades are my thing, so I grabbed the warm and I'm so happy I did. Fall look will be coming with this, okay? Maybe one or two. Maybe I'll just do some Instagram looks. I don't know, but some fall looks will be coming with this palette for sure. So my third current obsession is actually the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. I just did a review reviewing this and other products in the Peaches and Cream line. So if you guys haven't seen that, tap that video right up there and go ahead and check that out. But this is, again, the Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. It is amazing like literally it does exactly what it says it's going to do the formula is very comfortable it's not like that really dead flat matte it's a very comfortable wearing foundation very lightweight you really don't feel it on your face i stay matte for a long 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 time with this foundation i've also use the primer that goes with it but I've used other primers with it as well and honestly I stay matte for a very long time using this foundation right here. I didn't expect to love this as much as I do but I am like head over heels in love with this and for reference I am in the shade Honey. 
I don't want to talk too much about this foundation because I did talk a lot about it during my um, peaches and cream demo and review. So again, go ahead and check that video out for more information, but good foundation, really good. All right, so I told you guys I threw in a bonus product for you. I wanted to put a hair product in this video because I have been kind of messing with my natural hair lately. I may have some hair videos coming, I don't know. But I have been messing with my natural hair just a whole lot lately. So I wanted to throw a hair product in here. And this is just an edge control. I believe I hauled this during haul week as well. This is the Cream of Nature Perfect Edges Edge Control. I have told you guys about this edge control a million times, but I had the clear or the gold formula. This one is actually black. So it's so great. I have it on my edges today. And you guys know my edges are not the best. They're a little thin. So when you put this on your edges, it makes it look like you have thicker edges because it's black close to your hair color. If you have black hair, it'll definitely blend in a lot better. It's a little dark for me because my hair is a little lighter, but it still makes my edges look thicker and it doesn't look crazy or anything like that. It's not like opaque crazy black, but you can definitely see the tint when you put it on your hair and I have just been loving this. I have not seen it in my local hair stores, but I got this off of Amazon. It was like five or six bucks, so very affordable, same price as you would pay in the store, and I thought it was totally worth it. I have just been head over the heels, head over the heels, head over heels, obsessed with this edge control. All right, you guys, so that wasn't too bad. Was I too long? I don't think I was. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you. Again, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content and also give this video a like, thumbs up. If you have any video requests, don't hesitate to leave them down below in the comment section. I definitely take all of your requests very, very seriously. Write them in my little notebook and get them planned out for the future. So let me know if there's anything you want to see down below. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.